If you've been struggling to connect WhatsApp to anything, you're in the right place. Most tutorials out there use the Meta API with a test number, which is not only tricky to set up, but also limited to only five users before you have to start paying. Today, I'll show you the easiest setup using an open source API that gives you unlimited users. No VPS, no Docker, just one click. By the end of this video, you'll have WhatsApp and anything handling real business messages. And you can grab my workflow templates to copy it for yourself. We're gonna start by first deploying the Evolution API, then we're gonna set up our phone number, and finally, we're gonna work on the agent that's gonna handle the business messages. Head over to cloudstation.io, now you can create an account or log in to your existing account. I'm gonna use uh, Google to log in. Next, create a new project. I'm gonna call this one Evolution API. And then click on Add New and look for the Evolution API. And then all you need to do is click on Deploy and that's it. That's how you deploy the Evolution API with just one click. Just wait for a few minutes and then you're gonna be able to set up our phone. Now that the Evolution API is ready, just click on the domain that you find there and click on it. And then you're gonna see that we have the manager and the documentation. Uh, from now on, we're gonna be using only the manager. So click on it. You're gonna find the API key in the variables section. Uh, so go back to Cloud Station and go to variables and you're gonna find the API key right there. Now we're gonna add our phone number to the Evolution API. So here's the thing, the Evolution API allows us to have multiple phone numbers within one instance, which means we can manage multiple AI agents with different phone numbers. To add a new one, just click on new instance. I'm gonna name mine assistant. For the phone number, be sure to add the country code as well. Otherwise it's not gonna work, but without the plus. Then save and then click on this button right here and then click on the get QR code uh, button. If you've used Web WhatsApp before, it's exactly the same setup. You're actually using the same uh, API behind the scenes. And then scan the QR code. Once you do that, you're gonna see that you you're gonna have the Evolution API added. Now we can start setting up the AI agent. Then uh, we're gonna go to the events and then we're gonna start working on the web work. So for this, we're gonna need an actual web work. For that, we're using NA10. I'm gonna go to my NA10 instance. If you have an NA10 instance, you can use it. Else, you can always deploy it on Cloud Station. So uh, just go either to the same uh, projects where the Evolution API is deployed, or you can uh, click on New Templates, and then you'll find, you, you can look for NA10. And here, you're gonna find two types of NA10 on Cloud Station, one light and one is advanced, depending on your workload, and if you need a worker or not, you, you can choose. Either one you choose, so you just click on it, and then click on Deploy. So it's the exact same setup as the Evolution API, a one-click setup. All right, I already have an NA10 instance running, so I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna create a new workflow. And then next, you're gonna click on Add for Step and look for a webhook. Okay, so we're gonna be needing a post webhook. So we're gonna change the HTTP method from GET to POSTS because the Evolution API is going to send messages to NA10, which is a POST request. Then I'm gonna change the path. For my case, I'm just gonna put PA for personal assistance. And don't forget to copy the production URL. Uh, that's what we're gonna use in the Evolution API manager. So I'm just gonna click on here to copy it and then save, activate. All right, and we can even set up uh, an error workflow. So I already have an error workflow, that's why. And I'm gonna name it PA. Okay. Next, go back to the Evolution API and you have to enable the webhook. And then I'm gonna put the URL of, that we just copied from NA10. And we're gonna need to activate the webhook page 64. All right. And we need to activate the message absurd. So Evolution API sends a ton of events depending on what you need. So we can even set up group messages, etc. But for this use case, we're just gonna focus on message sent and we're gonna work on that. So I'm gonna only activate message absurds and save and that's it. So if I go back to NA10, right now we can test it. So to test it, I'm just gonna go and send the WhatsApp number a message and we will see that we're gonna receive it in, in here. So 
You can use any phone number, but keep in mind you set it up with your real phone number. Whenever someone sends you a message, it's gonna trigger the webhook. So I'm gonna test mine, so I'm just gonna say it's in high. And you can see here right away that we received the message. So you can see that uh, the push name is, is Umia, which is me, and the conversation high. So we can see here that we received high. So I'm gonna copy this to the editor. That way I don't need to go back and send multiple messages. And okay, so now the Evolution API is actually sending us uh, the messages in 2010. The next step is going to be to send back a response to WhatsApp. So for that, we're going to be using the Evolution API uh, node. Uh, so I'm just going to go back, go and uh, find it in uh, NPM. So just Google and it's an Evolution API node. And it's the first link. So it's the NSN node Evolution API. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to my NSN instance and go to setting. And in community node, you're going to come and click on install and you can, you can pass the package here. So I already have it installed, so it's not gonna work because it's already installed, but you get the point. So I'm gonna go back now to NA10 and I will find all the Evolution API nodes. Before I do that, I'm going to actually deactivate the webhook because if I let it activated and I send a message, it's gonna create an infinite loop where the messages keep going back and forth. So to avoid that, we're just gonna deactivate the node for now. And now I can look for Evolution API here. And here's a, the node to actually interact with all the WhatsApp API. So there are 64 actions. We can actually create, uh, we can do group messages. We can do a lot of stuff uh, with it. But today we're gonna focus on uh, sending uh, messages. So the send message node is the EVR uh, texto. I think it's in Portuguese. The, the thing that we need to do now is to actually configure our conventions. So for that, I, I already have it connected, but I'm gonna connect a new one. Click on create new credential. Okay. YouTube demo. Okay. And I'm gonna get the several URL from Cloud Station. So go back to Cloud Station and click on the connect tab and you'll find your URL here. I'm gonna click it. And then for the API key, go back to Cloud Station and in variable tabs, you'll find the authentication API key here. Just copy it from here. Go back to anything and pass it here. All right. And that's it. That's how you connect it. Uh, so the next step is going to be to actually send a message. So we need the instance name. So that's the that's this field right here, and it's what we put in the instance when we first uh, created the Evolution API instance. So mine is um, yeah instance here assistant. Drag and drop it, and then the the phone number, which is going to be the remote GID. And then the message. So right now I'm just going to put hi back. And I'm going to send it. There's the hi back. All right. So now we know that the communication mechanism works. The next part we're going to do is to eliminate the problem of having the infinite loop. We're going to first verify if the user is the same WhatsApp number. If it is, then we're just going to get out of the automation. If it is not, if actually someone else reaching out, to the WhatsApp number, then we would do some kind of automation or some AI agents or whatever. That's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so, so now we're gonna fix our infinite loop problem. Uh, so I'm just gonna add an if node here. All right, to check if the message is from me, meaning from the bot, to not do anything. And if not, if it's not from me, then in that case, we do something. So thankfully, the Evolution API has a field for that. It's called for me. Okay. And basically, we're gonna, it's a boolean, and if it's true, then that means that the message is from me. Let's get out of the automation. So if it's true, okay, then we do nothing. Okay, and if it's not true, then we send some problem. Okay, I'm going to reactivate it. Okay. Okay, so now if I send a message, I should receive a high back. You see how fast that, that was. Send a message. Okay, and I'm gonna receive a high back instantly. instantly. Okay, so now we can actually start working on the AI agent that's gonna make this bot actually interesting. We're gonna break this up and we're gonna add an AI agent work from here. 
Okay. So we're gonna start by changing from the connect chat trigger node to actually the message that we receive from the person. So in this case, it's in the conversation. Okay. So this is the message that we're getting. And we're gonna add a, let's uh, do open AI to keep it simple. And we're gonna choose GPT-5 mini, cause it's good and it's not very expensive. Okay. To keep it simple, we're not gonna do an external memory. We're just gonna do a simple memory here. And for the key, I'm gonna use the phone number. So this way, for every user that's gonna send a message to this AI agent, we're gonna remember the last five messages. Or we can even make it in. And then finally, the tools. So just to start, we're gonna add a Wikipedia tool here. And a calculator tool. And here for the prompt, for the user prompt, I'm just gonna say the user asked and for the system prompt i'm just gonna make it super simple i'm just gonna tell the agents to use the tools that it has to respond to the user so use you are a helpful personal assistance use uh, your tools to help the user. All right, and then I'm gonna say tools available. And just the names, calculator and Wikipedia. All right, that's it. And I'm just gonna run it from here to see what's gonna happen. All right, and we have the outputs. I'm just gonna pin this, this this here, and we're gonna use the outputs to send it to the user. So here we're gonna change the uh, the value to the right one because it's not it's no longer the JSON. It's because we added a step before. It's no longer gonna work. So it's a simple fix here. So the na the name of the instance is instance here, and then the number is the remote JID. Okay. And then for the message, now we're going to actually send the output. So here. All right. So if I send this, then in WhatsApp, I have the, hi, how can I help you today? For example, I can ask a question, routes messages, et cetera, et cetera. Now we can test it from WhatsApp. Hi, uh, who is the present of the USA? And we have a response. As of today, the president of the United States is Donald Trump. He was inaugurated. And you get the points. If you ask a math question, uh, what is I don't know, up? It should use the calculator tool to answer this question. All right, and we have the answer right here. Okay, now if we go back to the executions, we will see that for the first execution, but the AI agent used the Wikipedia tool. And for the uh, for, okay, for the calculation, it didn't use the tool. So that's that's wrong. So we need to fix that. All right. So just I'm going to use the previous execution. To use the previous execution, just copy to editor. All right. And I think maybe I named it incorrectly. So, uh, calculator. So here, uh, to, do, to answer any math problems for research, always, always use your tools to help. All right, so just changing the system prompt, it should work. Uh, I'm just gonna rerun this note. 
And you can see here, this time it did use recognition. And there you have it. You've set up your first WhatsApp AI agent in under 10 minutes using nothing but Anything and the Evolution API. Curious about more advanced automation using the Evolution API? Drop a comment below. I can cover group messages, audio messages, pictures, and all sorts of creative workflows. Just let me know what you want to see next. If you want to see how I actually use this exact setup to create an AI agent that creates and deploys landing pages from simple voice notes or even a simple picture, click this video right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and grab the workflow template in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.